This is Cleveland Cassius for Sugar Hut TV with iFilm London. We're on the set of Roll Deep's new music video, All or Nothing, with me. I've got the very beautiful Lauren Pope. Hello, Hello. Lauren. You are right? I'm very well. Just tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today. Obviously, we're on the set of Roll Deep's new video. Yeah, I'm just doing like a little, I don't know, is cameo the word? Cameo is the right word. cameo. Um, I know uh, Junior here who's organised some of the video and he just said would I come along and DJ in the video because it's in Sugar Heart, kind of makes sense and um, yeah and that's it, we're here today now. I mean it's a, a well known group, uh, Roll Deep, so I suppose they're filming in the Sugar Heart. People see the video, see Lauren Pope doing a little thing and is Lauren Pope? That's the idea behind it I'm gathering. I guess so, I don't know, I just turn up to these things and I got a clue. <laughs> I just turn up and hope for the best. I yeah. don't know. I don't know the reasons behind it, but um, it's nice that people know me as a DJ because I've been doing it for like eight years now. Um, so yeah, it's nice to be recognised as that. People forget that, don't they? Because obviously yeah. your association with Towie and that, but they forget that you were quite well known before as as a DJ. I think as well, a lot of people think that um, I don't actually DJ, and it's like a gimmick thing. Because a lot of people in the public eye do fake DJ as a way to get PAs, but I do genuinely DJ, and I have done for a long time so um, yeah it's a little bit frustrating when people don't think I actually am a DJ. Off the top of my head I know at least five people I could name which I won't name now that do exactly what you just said there. Do you know what I can't blame them because yeah. it works like clubs do book them but yeah. I guess the clubs don't rebook them that's the difference. But this uh, type of music and this you're into this sort of music anyway aren't you? Parts of it, yeah, like no, to be honest, not over like yeah. humongous amounts, but um, like this kind of more commercial stuff is stuff yeah. that I can play at some gigs, so um, it works. And they, they always make really popular, catchy tunes, these guys, definitely, definitely. It's all going on behind us. Um, just a quick word you're on a break from Towie at the minute, so you can get all these little things I know, in you've between got like eight weeks to just cram as much work in as possible. Yeah. What, what else are you going to be doing between now and Series 9? God, I, it's been non stop. I've got a few businesses, so they take up like day to day, they take up all my time. And when you're filming, you have to you neglect them a little bit and you have to kind of pass on to other people. So it's nice to get control back. I've got a hair extension company, I've got a dating site, clothes, and then hopefully there's three other things that will be hopefully out before the next series starts. Okay, did you just wake up looking like this by the way? Hells no, I woke up, a girl came round, applied a shitload of makeup <laughs> and then I came, got dressed. I wish I woke up like this. Um, just finally, we did actually interview once before at um, the Essex Polo, but we'd done 30 interviews that day and we lost two of them, and one of them was yours, <gasps> and I cried, I went home, honestly. we you really cry? No, I Show me your cry face. A cry face. No, it's a I sad face. Tears, no, you no, liar. No, we did lose it, and I was gutted, but I haven't really oh, seen one of my you. best interviews ever. I gave you that right exclusive. Do you remember? I remember. You, you revealed everything in the interview, <laughs> didn't you? It was like half an hour long. Yeah. He's no, lost we it lost all. it, and I've waited until this day before I've seen you with the camera. I've seen you a couple of times. I've seen you at Chloe's book launch and that, but um, didn't manage to get you. But we have got you here today. I'm here now. I'm sorry. You got it well. at last. You fulfilled that life. You was in my hometown of Wickford the other day in Plasma Bar. Yes, yeah, I was. I heard about it after uh, you'd been there. That place. Yeah. yeah. Was you feeling plasma? Yeah. I, I did two gigs last week. One was plasma, one was Mill and Keynes. I'm trying to think which. Plasma is a little bar on a high street. It's near Essex, isn't it? In Essex, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's about ten, 10 minutes from up here. Yeah, it was a cool place. Wickford's great. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> All right, Lauren, listen, thank you very much for talking thank to Sugar Hat TV and I from London. We look forward to seeing your uh, real DJing skills. Yes in the video later well, on today. This is a bit fake today, we don't actually DJ, but just let you know, I do DJ in real life. She's Obviously, a real day. For filming purposes, we have to pretend. <laughs> All right, thank you very much for talking to us. Kogan Cassius with Lauren Pope, thank you very much.